in this video, I'm going to try and present to you the updates on the Mason Greenwood case after confirmation today from the Crown Prosecution Service and the Greater Manchester Police that Mason Greenwood has been charged uh, with. Uh, I will explain what he's been charged with and what that means. But first thing I will say, two things here. Number one, this is still an ongoing case. Anything you say online, be careful about what you say or do. It can all be used in contempt of court. It's an open case. I, I, I seriously plead with you to understand that. And secondly, all the links for domestic abuse victims and, and, um, and numbers and contact numbers are all going to be in the links to the description of this video. I think that's important. But uh, Gareth Davies, who is the breaking news editor of The Telegraph, confirmed here that, Man that Mason Greenwood has been charged with attempted rape, engaging in controlling and coercive behavior and assault occasioning actual bodily harm. Now I'm going to read through the full statement for you here. Janet Potter, the deputy chief crown prosecutor for the Crown Prosecution Service Northwest said, the CPS has today authorized Greater Manchester Police to charge Mason Greenwood with attempted rape, engaging in controlling and coercive behavior and assault occasioning actual bodily harm. All three counts relate to the same complainant. Specialist rape prosecutors from CPS Northwest Complex Casework Unit authorised the charges following a review of, fire, of a file of evidence received from Greater Manchester Police. The defendant's first court appearance will take place on Monday the 17th of October at Greater Manchester Magistrates Court. The Crown Prosecution Service reminds all concerned that criminal proceedings against the defendant are active and that he has a right to a fair trial. It is extremely important that there should be no reporting, commentary or sharing of information online which in any way could prejudice those proceedings, which is exactly what I just tried to explain to you and I didn't even read the statement there. Listen to what they're saying. Seriously, it's an ongoing case. Anything you say can affect it. You might not think it could, but it can and it really can. And, uh, and so the Athletic reporting the same thing here that Monday will be when Mason Greenwood goes to the magistrate's court in Manchester. Uh, sort of a little bit more detail here. This, of course, Mason Greenwood was arrested today. Now, I, no one knows the reason behind that. There's been stories that it's, it's to do with um, he breached bail conditions, but there's been no confirmation as to whether or not that did happen. But, of course, all of this relates back to the stories that emerged back in February. Now, I don't need to tell you what they were. I don't need to tell you who was involved in them. You already know that. Everybody's already seen that. But what do we know is the facts? I think it's important at this point to try and understand the facts. All of that was released and Mason Greenwood was arrested. He spent three days in custody before he was released on bail. And that was back in February. Then after that, it all went a bit quiet. Nobody really knew what was going on about Mason Greenwood. And, uh, and yeah, it all went very quiet. And then his bail got extended. And then the story developed, well, it's all developed in the last, what, I suppose, 12 hours or so after reports came out that, that Mason Greenwood had sort of breached his bail conditions. And now we've got confirmation here from the Crown Prosecution Service that he's been charged with attempted rape, engaging in controlling and coercive behavior and assault occasioning actual bodily harm. Now, you, there's no point making any sorts of assumptions about the evidence that's been used. Is there any new evidence that don't do any of that? Just try and stick to the facts that we've got now. And from, from Manchester United's perspective, from, uh, from, from Mason Greenwood as a professional footballer, he's been suspended. And he has been suspended since back in February. Nike, they've also dropped Mason Greenwood um, from as an ambassador for their brand. I would imagine now we should anticipate there will be some form of statement from Manchester United. Now that there is a formal charge against Mason Greenwood up until this point, uh, obviously all of this is alleged and we're talking about alleged crimes and we're talking about charges. And that's, that's exactly why the Crown Prosecution has released a statement there saying, look, you can prejudice everything because everything at this point is alleged. He, he, he is entitled to a fair trial. But Mason Greenwood, of course, hasn't featured for Manchester United or trained with Manchester United or, or been affiliated with Manchester United in any way since February. I would anticipate there is going to be an official statement from Manchester United at some point soon. 
now that the charges have gone against him. Mason Greenwood will go into magistrate's court on Monday and we will have to see what happens and what, what happens in the trial. And after that, we will be able to make a, a fair and complete assessment of what is going on. But these are simply the facts. Uh, let me reiterate this one more time for anybody who needs it. Uh, Gareth Davis, who is the breaking news editor from The Telegraph, confirmed this afternoon that Mason Greenwood had been charged by the Crown Prosecution, by the Greater Manchester Police, sorry, with attempted rape, engaging in controlling and coercive behaviour and assault occasioning actual bodily harm. He will be in Magistrates Court on Monday. I don't know what goes on at this point. I, I don't know how long it takes. Uh, of course, it, can, it all depends on the evidence and the complexity of the case. But Mason Greenwood has been charged and that's quite a significant and important update. That's why I wanted to bring this video to you and, and hopefully so you can understand the facts. Don't just go reading newspapers everywhere and seeing what's been said on Twitter and because it's a dangerous place. And this is, as I said, it's an open case. Understand everything you say or do in the comments can be used and it can be in prejudice of court. Be careful of what you do. And as I've re reiterated at the very, very start, all the links the, and the contact numbers for, for domestic abuse victims in the UK and internationally are in the, in the description of this video. So if you need them, they're all there. But that is the update on the Mason Greenwood situation. I wanted to try and present the facts and nothing more. No opinion involved in this at all because opinion doesn't belong here. It's an ongoing case. Remember that. But that's the updates on the Mason Greenwood situation.